I have this lady here. And so her, where her head starts, it's under her hair, but it probably starts about here. And if you were to draw out her face, it'd be kind of like an egg shape sort of, right? And so what I want you guys to understand is where the facial features are on her face. So I'm going to draw a little dashed line down the middle because everything's symmetrical. It's all even. Both sides are the same. And then the most important part is probably where the eyes are, which is about halfway on your little egg. And then um, the nose ends halfway between the this halfway point and the chin. So I'll draw another dashed line like halfway there. And then the mouth also is at a sort of half point between this part and the end. And I'll draw out the eyes here so you can see that they're on that line. And they have about like an eye between them as well. And then the nose would be here on that line and the mouth is kind of like right there. And then the brows kind of follow the nose shape. So her eyebrows are like right there. Okay. And then I'll show you an example right here. So you can see I have the same like lines on this one. I made her egg shape and then I have the halfway point. I put her eyes there and I put her nose here. And this is a little bit less realistic because it's not a photo, but um, we're making superheroes and comics don't have to be super accurate to what real life looks like. Um, let me see. So I have some ideas of like eyes and brows, mouths and noses that we'll look at in a minute. Um, I'm going to show you how I would put those on a face and then you guys can try it with me too. Let's see. Okay. So I'm going to draw out like a circle here. And then I have my sheet, my cheat sheet here. I'm going to start with the eyes because I know they're at about halfway. If you want, you can, we can draw that out with like a pencil here. And I think I want to do, I don't know if you guys can see my eyes that well, but I think I'll start with just the first one as an example. Um, so I draw a curvy line and then a circle and then two little bottom lashes. And there's about like another eye between them. And then I'm going to pick some eyebrows. So say I want my person to be a little bit angry. I might choose um, maybe this first one here as well. So I make like a curvy line and then I make another one. And then I'm going to put like some little lines there. And then we'll pick a nose real quick. Let's stick with the first one since we're doing all first ones so far. Just gonna make like a curvy shape and then finish it there. And then let's pick a mouth that looks kind of angry. Um, I think I'm gonna pick this one here. So I'm gonna make a line here and then like a diagonal one, a straight one, and then a line here to represent the teeth. And then the ears line up with the eyes on that middle line. And we can give him some hair just real quick so you can see. Now, he doesn't have any special powers right now, but you have to think about what powers your hero has and whether he'd be angry or she'd be angry or what kind of um, hair she'd have, etc. Okay, so I thought you guys could try. I'm gonna share those cheat sheets with you on my screen. Um, and you can look at them while you draw out your character. Give me one second, let me share here.
Okay, let's see. So, start. Okay, I'm not sure if this is going to be in the way of some. Let me see. What the heck? Okay, so I'm going to start with the eyes up on the screen and um, just draw your circle out at where your face is going to be and find the halfway point, and you can pick one of these eyes to put on there or if you don't like these eyes you can pick one of your own but um here's some eyes for inspiration for you guys i'll give you a few minutes to do that part and just think about what eyes would your superhero have are they I know we had some superheroes before, the weather changing one, the potato one. Um, oh, and the, the food man. Um, mine was a plant girl. I don't know if you guys remember from last time. So I think she'd be pretty, um, I remember saying she'd be kind of laid back. She just likes to be in the sun. So I'd probably pick some pretty normal eyes, but if you have like a particularly angry character or something, you might want to take that into consideration. Oops, sorry, let me go back. There we go. And the eyebrows will add a lot to your eyes. So in the next step, we can work on that. And just let me know when you feel like you're ready. I think the next step is noses, so. I think I'm good now. Okay. All right, let's see. Okay, so here's some noses. Um, some of them are a little more like pig noses, some are like triangles. A lot of noses are shaped like triangles, like as the basic shape. So if you want to use that to help you, um, it might help a little bit. But um, yeah, so you can pick one of these or again, you can make it your own. I think sometimes generally more evil characters or villains have a lot of angles and instead of rounded edges. So if you had a more evil character, it might have a pointy nose, like the one on the top right. Um, but usually nicer characters have some more rounded shapes, but that's not always the rule. It's just something that happens a lot. Okay, let's see. I'm hoping everyone else is good. I can make the next slide. We can always go back if you're not. Okay, and here's some mouths. Now the mouth has a lot of different expressions. So I have a bunch here, but there's way more expressions they could have. Um, And you can see you can make the teeth in a couple of different ways. And some of them I have, you know, each individual tooth lined or drawn in. And some I just have a line that 
you know, sort of represents the teeth, but it doesn't have each tooth drawn in. And then on these ones, I don't even have a line. It's just, you know, you can see the white space in the open mouth. So just think about how you would want to do that in your style. Are you guys ready to stop or? I'm ready. Okay. All right, let's see. I'm going to get out of this. Okay. Um, do you want to show the faces you came up with now while we're at this step or? Oh, that's really good. I love the eyes. That's awesome. I don't know if the shanks want to, but we can do that at the So I have some poses here. I printed out some more pictures, just like the lady we had earlier. Um, now they look a little hard, but we're gonna break them down into shapes. So you can kind of understand um, how the body is made up and you can make your own poses with the shapes. Okay, so I'm going to, here's an example of some of the shapes. We can make them even simpler than that, but I'll show you how to do it kind of. All right, we can start with this guy. And I'm gonna pull out a piece of paper to, um, here we go, okay. Get my marker again. All right. So even though there's a lot of muscles and bones and stuff, we don't really need to think about all of them, especially when we're making, you know, drawings that aren't too realistic, but they're still kind of, so, for the torso, his midsection, I just make it into one shape like that. And then for his arms, now he's putting his arm backwards a little bit, so it's a little shorter than it should be looking, but you can usually just make that into two sections like that. And then two sections over here. And the hands are kind of just little triangular blobs. And then same with the legs, they're just like the arms. You can make them into two sections. And this one is behind that one a little bit, so it's hidden away. And then the feet are kind of like the hands and that you can make them into just triangle kind of shapes like that. 
And then the head um, is usually just like an oval shape. I know we had some fun shapes from the shanks. We could do that too, especially when we're making heroes, they sometimes have really fun faces. But for now, I'll just put an oval. Okay, and then I'm gonna show you guys. So this is what it looks like when I break down all those shapes. And then later on when I'm adding on my face, I can use the same guidelines we did earlier with the half point for the eyes and um, the nose halfway between the eyes and um, the chin, those same sort of spots. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys an example and I'll try to pick a more simple one here. Let's see. You can try this one. And I want you guys to try to make the shapes that line this up. I can give you a quick example. So I'm going to do her torso is that sort of square shape, that rectangular shape. It has little rounded edges. And then we do two ovals for the legs and then another two for the other leg here. And then for the feet, I'm gonna make a triangle. And then the arms, two more ovals on both sides and some triangle hands for now. And then her head is just an oval. Okay, so you guys can try doing that without my shapes there and see what you come up with, okay? And just let me know when you feel like you have the hands on the hips guide down. Okay, I see you're good and new. Oh, that looks great. I like that you added his face. Or her face. <laughs> oh, and Anu, if you want to see what we did last time, I can show you um, some examples. This is just a little fire girl. And last time when we were working on it, I made a plant girl. So she just has a little shovel and like a leafy costume on. So I'm not sure if you have any ideas of your power, but try to think of what they might wear that represents their power or protects them from their weaknesses. Just try to keep things like that in your head. Awesome. Okay. Does everyone feel like they're ready to move on? Okay, Nicole's good. Andy's good. I think the shanks might be ready. Okay, yeah. All right. So I didn't use pencil for this, I know, so you guys could see. So I'm just going to put a sheet of paper over. So now that you have this um, character, you can fill in the details. So, so there's certain things that we skipped, like, you know, fingers and the neck and things like that. So I'm going to try starting off with the face. Um, you can use a pencil to make those guidelines from earlier. So I'm going to split the face in half both ways. 
and I'm going to use my cheat sheet again to put in the eyes. I'm just going to use the same face I did last time. So I know Anu already had her face in. If you don't have it in, you can try drawing it in now. And then once you have the face in, you can start adding other details like um, hair. Just think about what powers they have. Like if they have electricity power or something, they might have really spiky, staticky hair. So I guess I'll give this guy um, power to use the lightning. So I'm going to give him some lightning hair. Let's say he can bring lightning down from the sky or he can um use electricity and stuff like that so i'm just going to give him some spiky hair and if you need another example my plant girl had had some leaves for hair so try to think maybe you have water power they might have hair that's made of waves it's up to you Okay, and then if you didn't draw a neck already, you can connect the head to that rectangle we had before, just with some lines. Okay, and I'm just going to draw some lines for his shoulders. And I'm going over and sort of just adjusting those ovals. And at any point, you can erase some of the lines you had before. Like right at this point, I might erase, um, you know, the lines that are between these two ovals. And maybe up here by his neck, I might erase that one. Okay. And hands are difficult. Right now, we don't have to worry too much about hands. You can just kind of draw some fingers. Cartoons don't always have realistic hands, so it's okay if they're not super realistic or anything. Just draw some fingers in and Okay. I'm going to try to make, because he's sort of electric, I'm going to make his chin pointy, like a lightning bolt kind of. All right, and then you can do the same thing with the arm or with the legs that you did with the arms. Just sort of outline that shape you had before and just avoid the parts in the middle like that. So I'm just going to follow those ovals. Oh, cool. That's awesome. Okay. And then this is where you might want to start thinking about what they're wearing before I outline his um, triangular feet. I want to think what shoes might he be wearing. Um, I think 
he might have some like pointy boots or something like that. So I'm going to change the sh shape of his foot a little bit to make those boots pointy. I'm just going to make like a lightning bolt shape. So think about what you want your character to be wearing um, and what shoes might be best for their power. Okay, so now he's got some lightning issues. And you can make backstory that might not even be in your drawing. Like I think maybe his shoes are waterproof because electricity and water don't go together. So if you have ideas like that, you might wanna jot them down or keep them in your head for later in case you need them. Okay. And then I'm gonna give him, I think I'll give him a belt. A lot of superheroes have belts like the Incredibles and sometimes they have like a little logo on the belt. So I'll just give him a basic lightning bolt sort of thing. If you want to come up with a logo for your character, you could do the same thing and give them a belt. It's like an easy way of showing what their power is. And then I'll just draw some lines in to show where his sleeves end and I'll give him a neckline for his shirt. Okay, and then I'm gonna try shading some spots. Um, we talked about last time a little bit how you can shade spots where um, like a part of the body is in front of another. So his head is a little bit in front of his neck. So I'm gonna shade right under his head just a little bit. You can do this with color. I'm just using the pencil as an example for now. And then I'm just gonna quick shade his his um, pants in, just so um, we can tell that they're there. And then you can add some details with whatever powers or whatever you want your character to have. I'm just going to add some zigzags because it's an easy way of, you know, showing more of his electricity power. You can add like patterns that match on each side of their clothing or um, you could even make them each side different. It's up to you. I'm just going to throw them in real quick. And I'll just leave. Here's another little example, just so you guys have um, some reference for like them using their powers. I just have little flowers on her arm. So maybe you have their power coming from their arms or their head, just so you have some ideas. Show you guys some more like action poses. And I want you to try maybe putting him or her into more of a um, action-y pose. So I'll give you guys some examples, but if you don't get done, that's okay. And you don't have to finish it while we're here. So this one we already looked at, she's sort of got a stick and she's kind of in an action pose, but she's not moving too much. 
So let me show you my other one. So this one is a little difficult um, because he's running right at you and some of his parts are overlapping like his leg is going in front of the other leg. But um, just giving you guys some ideas here. This guy is sort of jumping or falling and you can see where the ovals would come into play with his legs there. She's doing like a punch. So I'll show you my, I already made a cheat sheet for you guys kind of with the ovals done. Let me show you this with that. Give me one second. Okay, here it is. So you can look at some of these poses here and try to um, draw them out the best you can, or you can pick another action -y pose, but I just wanted you to see that you can do more with these ovals than just have them standing with their hands on their hips. Hopefully you can see them okay. And if you don't want to use one of these two, that's okay. Just try using the ovals to make them run or jump or even sit. Just something a little more um, representative of their power maybe than just standing. One of the good things about making heroes is that a lot of times they have like more skin tight clothing on so you don't have to worry too much about figuring out clothing shapes and stuff like that but it's about two right All right, so we're wrapping up about now. If anyone wants to show what they've got before we end. But if you're not ready and you wanna come next time, we can look at them again too. And if you wanna add anything, we can look next time as well. Oh, she looks awesome. I love the hair too. You did a great job with that. <laughs>